Hey everybody, this is David, and today I'm going to be talking about Gotham, Episode 9, Harvey Dent. So, let's talk about the man of the hour, shall we? Harvey Dent himself has finally showed up on Gotham on the ninth episode. And, um, I gotta say, I'm not too sure what to think of him yet. Um, I, the character's alright, I guess. Uh, from what we got to know from him, he is Harvey Dent. They're already foreshadowing his future, as we know. For those of you that don't know, he becomes Two-Face. But seriously, if you don't know that by now, I mean, The Dark Knight is one of the highest grossing films of all time, which had Harvey Dent, a.k.a. Two-Face, in that movie. To me, though, the problem with Harvey Dent, I felt I, I felt he was a little bit too hammy at times. And what I mean by that, I, I felt the actor was maybe um, overplaying him a little bit um, at times. I think he did an okay job, and I'm, I'm very well aware of this actor. I think he's a good actor, uh, because I remember he used to be on Heroes. He was on Heroes Season 2, I think. And that was before Heroes really got, you know, went downhill. And uh, I, I think, for me, there was one sp scene specifically where he really went over the top. And it was the part where Harvey showed a little bit of his dark side. And um, yeah, guys, I, I just felt that was a little bit over the top for me. And um, I, I don't know if I should... I, I don't want to be too harsh on the actor because I, I think he was doing an okay job. I just felt in that scene specifically, he um, overplayed it a little bit. He should have uh, toned it down a, a bit. Uh, but other than that, you know, the character of Harvey Dent is Harvey Dent. And it's cool that we got to see a little bit of Harvey's darker side. Uh, because we know that should be in him anyways. It's a it's a schizophrenia type of situation. So it, it was handled okay. And Harvey wasn't really in the episode too much uh, for for me to really give him a full out you know th thoughts on him because I, I felt that. Even though he was the episode is called Harvey Dent, it didn't really focus too much on Harvey Dent. Um, if anything, this episode was more about Bruce and Selena, and to me, this was the heart of the episode because I actually enjoyed the scenes a lot with Bruce Wayne and young Bruce and young Selena. I thought there was great chemistry between those two kids, and I think you know the kid actors on the show are actually pretty damn good, and um. I, I really enjoyed the, the flirtation between Selena and Bruce. I thought that was really nice and how playful it was. Uh, they, it was really, uh, it put a smile on my face by the end of the episode. I was like, this is cool because like we see Selena giving Bruce some tips on, you know, how to be a crime fighter. We know her influence on him will help him become the man we know today like when she was telling him that you know you're a little bit too nice and i don't know if someone like you can you know someone like you are is just gonna get his ass kicked on the streets you gotta be more aggressive and we we all know like batman's growly christian bale voice you know <laughs> where is she you know i obviously he will have to become more aggressive like that uh, eventually and uh, it was cool seeing Selena give him those tips. And then even at the very end, when she was uh, play fighting with him, you know, with the donuts. I thought that was really cute, too, because it, it helped show that Bruce and Selena, you know, have this really great relationship. And if you look at all the Batman uh, versions of the character and the relationship with Catwoman... There's always that flirty relationship between Batman and Catwoman. Whether it's the Batman Returns version with Michelle Pfeiffer and Michael Keaton, or if you watch the Anne Hathaway and Christian Bale uh, Dark Knight Rises, there's always been a flirtation between these two characters. And even though Batman acts all manly and stuff, you can tell the character has always enjoyed uh, Catwoman's company and that 
there's times where even in Batman Returns and it, Batman the Animated Series even had Batman. You can see that the character was enjoying the company of Catwoman. Even though he wouldn't admit it to her, he enjoyed it. He enjoyed the flirtation. And uh, it was great seeing that in this episode, that Selina and Bruce uh, had that chemistry already. And, and the two kids, like I said again, they without them really having good chemistry, it wouldn't have worked. And I'm glad the chemistry between the two kids worked. Because now you can see that Bruce and Selina will one day have that flirtation while, you know, fighting around. Then we also have uh, Gordon and Bullock solving a case, uh, something to do with Falcone, I believe. <laughs> I just watched the episode like a few minutes ago, and I'm already forgetting what happened with the whole Gordon and Bullock situation. Um, to me, it was, I guess, because it was the least memorable of the episode. That <laughs> It's funny that I'm already forgetting everything that happened with that whole storyline. But it did set up the whole Arkham that Arkham will now be a facility for um, the criminally insane. So uh, um, I guess that helped move that forward. Uh, Penguin, we saw him investigating um, Falcone's new love interest, probably to give him a little bit of details about her, that, hey, the, she's working for Fish, you better watch out for her. Because, you know, we know Falcone and, and Penguin now have this bond together, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we get to see a little bit more of Edward Nigma, not too much, just as much as we've been getting. Uh, I'm kind of sad because I want to I wanna see Edward Nigma do more. And uh, he just seems like wasted potential so far. I feel like there's more that the writers are planning to do with him. He just didn't hasn't gotten there yet. And I don't know how long the writers and producers are thinking of keeping him around until he decides to do something interesting. Um, but I guess right now where he's at, that's, that's fine. Finally, I'm going to touch on that ending there. That was interesting. I personally, I don't care much for what they're doing with Barbara's storyline. I think it's kind of silly and cheesy. Um, it's it's not the fact that, you know, Barbara's with another woman. I have no problems with gays or lesbians. It's just the way they're playing it out. And I'm, I'm trying to wonder where, why is she having an affair now with Montoya when, you know, what did Gordon do wrong in the first place? I don't think he did anything wrong to upset her, to make her leave. Um, so whatever, I don't know. It, it, to me, it's just, uh, it's drama over drama. And, you know, I, I'm sick of drama like this and I don't need it for this show. This just came out of nowhere, I feel. I mean, I know they set up the relationship between Montoya and, and Barbara, but I didn't want to see them go this way. You know, I thought that was going to be a past thing. Okay, they had a little fling in the past that Barbara seems to be over now, but no, now we got... I feel like this is for ratings. I, I That's how I feel when I'm watching this. I feel like... This is to bring in the ratings. Oh, lesbians? Yeah, let's watch this, man. Two hot women making out. Uh, you know what? Just have Gordon work it out with Barbara next week. Have him say, hey, why don't I join you guys? And, you know, we can have a little fun. I'm going to wrap this up now. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I thought it was an okay. I thought it was a good episode. Not okay, it was good. Um, like I said, the things that bothered me the most was the Harvey Dent situation. I, I felt the actor um, overplayed it a little bit. And the, the whole ending there, that was silly stuff that was going on. Um, I didn't think it was necessary. And it, it just feels like... The, write the writers and the producers just want a ratings boost, and what better way than have two hot women make up? So, um, that's just me. I know everyone's gonna differ on opinions on that, but whatever. Um, 
I guess that's it, guys. Uh, I'm not going to go all two-face on you if you disagree with me. That's cool. So until next week, let's hope episode 10 is even better.